Hello, my lovely, lovely friends, and welcome back to the Classy Kiwi Show. Today, I wanted to share with you my design for a Japanese castle. I've seen a lot of complicated Japanese castle designs, and I've done a few myself, but this one is very simple. I took a long while to make one that both looks very good, but also has a nice, sleek, elegant, and easy design that you can build without too much effort in your own worlds. I will have an interior design video for this build coming out in a couple weeks, so I'll put a card right here for that once it is out. If not, look out for that video in the future. And without further ado, let us drop the shaders and get straight into this build. So to start off, we need to go over potential color palettes. My favorite is spruce wood with dark prismarine, but this is kind of expensive. So here's another option, just using stripped acacia wood, which I think looks good, and less expensive than dark prismarine is using red nether bricks, which is actually one of my favorites, and you can also use cobblestone for the roof if you like. So now moving on, we're going to start with the square in the ground. So this is going to be 23 blocks long on all sides, just 23 blocks repeated on each side. Alright, so to get things moving, we're going to pick one point on our big stone square that we put into the ground and build up one, two, three blocks with stone from there. Then we can put another stone stair on top of that. Then like this, we can come along and put one on the back. Then build up one, two. We can take this out to save resources if you like. Then put on one more stone stair on the top. So it's came up three stone blocks and one stone stair, then two stone blocks and one stone stair. And notice the second part is inlaid one block from where this is on the outside. Now we can take that pattern that I just showed you and extend it all the way across the square that we inscribed into the ground. And remember, this is essentially two squares, one smaller square on top of a bigger square. So remember that that upper one is inset slightly. Then from here, as we complete this, we can start texturing it, which is actually very important. I'm just going to texture with stone brick blocks. As you can see coming up here, I'm just going to put them along the wall, and I'll also put a few stone brick block stairs along the top just to kind of even it all out. You can also use some mossy stuff if you like. So from right here, we're going to place a block right in one of these corners, then come up one, we can break under there, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm just using spruce wood right here. Then we're gonna come in, right one block diagonally in from there, we can break it again. Look how this connects, and it's gonna come up one, two, three, four, five, six again. And now this is a repeating pattern, we are going to do it five times in total, coming up like this, coming in again, one, two, three, four, five, six, coming up again from there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then one final time, we'll come in from right here and it'll come up one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at how this comes up. And this is a repeating pattern coming up five times, six blocks on each, coming up diagonally. Now we can take that simple pattern that I just showed you and put it once in each of the four corners, so just repeat that in all of our four corners through the space that we built up. And now as we look at the frame that we've built right here, we can come to the top of each one of these six high pillars and stack it all the way across like so with more spruce wood. So we're going to do this once on each level coming across through here. Now we're just going to finish framing this entire thing off like I just showed you. We're going to take that same style and apply it to each and every one of our sides on all four, just making it as even as possible. So now that's parceled off, we can get to work with detailing. So from here we're going to start the roof itself. So we're going to take a slab material, I'm using dark prismarine because that's my favorite, and it has to be a slab because along this top line we're going to put it up on the upper half of the block. And then it's going to come out one block, there will be a gap in between like this, and then it will wrap around. I'll show you enough in first person so you can see exactly how this roof works. I'm just going to push this around a bit. And then we can take it and it'll come up one half block further, moving along on this inner piece, coming through again one half block up. And I'll come along just through here so you can see just far enough. 
Then on this upper part we can put on a third slab, and because Dark Prismarine's kind of hard to come by, it is better to preserve it by just using a slab here instead of a full block. Then on each of these corners we're going to come in and we're going to curl it up a bit. So we're going to get rid of these three pieces, then we're going to put in one, two like that, then just bring in a third piece of Prismarine. It's super easy like that, just putting on the corner and curling it up on each one of our corners. Repeating this roof pattern can be a bit tricky, but just remember that it is exactly the same as what I just showed you. We are just wrapping what I just showed you all the way around this base level, remembering again to curl up our edges. And once we have the base level finished, we're going to repeat the exact same thing on all the levels above. So literally just do the instructions I just showed you, build up the corner, then extend it all the way around in the same way that I showed you, kind of two blocks out, then up, up half a block, and as we come up to the top floor, we're even going to repeat the same roof pattern up on the top floor. It might be a bit harder here because there's no pillars above it to put in reference, but if you look carefully here, it is really the same pattern that I already showed you on the lower floor. So just extend that all the way around, and it shouldn't be too hard or too tricky. And so now we are onto the roof, and now the thing about this roof is we start it off just like the same as all the other levels, as I have just shown you, but moving from here, we have our square inside here, picking these sides. So we're going to take the sides, not the front, so if this is the front of our build, this will be the sides, and we're going to come in and put an extra layer of slabs, just filling in right along here. Then from there, we're going to take a stair and put on top of this slab, then we're just going to go stair, upside down stair, moving like this, all the way up, halfway to the top. So if you build this up, it'll keep moving upwards, and then we can build it from this side and keep on coming up. This is just a very simple frame, moving up, and then I misshot this. But then at the very top, we'll put a single block in. And now from here, what we can do is put an upside down stair, and then a single stair, then another upside down stair, then put a full block, then we can do stair, upside down stair, and now we have a nice little curl for the top of our build, and we can put a lantern on top to finish that out. Just extend this top roof over to the left now, just kind of taking that same pattern and pushing it to the left. And you can see how that all fits out as we come around here and then repeat the same thing that we did on the other side onto this side. Not too bad, just follow those instructions again. Then on the inside of here, one block in, we're going to put in a layer of white concrete. Just coming in here, a layer of white concrete. And then knocking in a few windows, and I just like to put in dark oak fences in for those little window pieces as we finish this off. Now we begin on filling in our walls with white concrete. So if we look, we're just starting here on the base. What we're going to do is come in from our pillars and come in one block from the edge. So we're going to actually try and frame this and push it back like this. And then we can push this all the way to the top to the point where it is hidden, just that so you can't see past it like so. And if we keep pushing this back like here. And what you should notice about this is again, it's pushed one block back from our spruce logs and there is a block missing here. Just leave this missing here for now, we will fill this in later and keep pushing this white concrete wall back across the entire frame of our body for the build. And as we extend our white wall, I should say that white concrete can be a bit hard to get in large quantities, so if you like, you can also use snow here as a nice little substitute, which is even a bit brighter than white concrete, or you can use quartz, although I do believe quartz to be a bit harder to get than white concrete, whatever your preference is. This next step has two different parts to it. First, we're going to fill in this extra hole that we left on all of them. On this base level, we're just going to fill it in with stone, but for all of the other levels, we're going to just put another slab of dark prismarine coming along here, filling it in. Aside from that, we still have a space in here, and so what we're going to do is put our spruce logs all the way through here, alternating every other block 
all the way on all of these layers. And this creates this very cool look as we come back from it. And again, we're gonna do this on every layer, starting from the very end. And just because of the spacing of how we built this, we will be able to fit these in every layer as long as we go every other like I have done so. I'll just show you on one side, I'm not going to do it on all the sides, but we're just repeating the same thing all the way through that I just started to show you. Just filling in that gap that we had earlier and putting in our little rafter pieces under the roof here, just with our regular spruce logs. I actually really love how this turns out. Again, I'll just show you this one side, not all the sides, and how it comes together. And remember that you can just take a slab and not a full block as we come up here to fill this in just to save more of your roofing material. So from here we need to start sectioning off our walls. So starting on the base level, on the front, this is the front that we are considering the front, we are going to come one, two, three, four, five, and then put a block, then one, two, three, four, five, then put a block, and that splits it into even thirds. Then we can just connect these all the way to the top right here. Then from here, on the second level, we are again going to count one, two, three, four, five, and that's kind of hard to see. It's easier if you put it against the wall here, and then just bring it up to the top, and then again on this side, one, two, three, four, five, and the only difference here is that on this level, the center will only be three because we've cut down two. Now from here, this level is super easy. We we're just going to cut it down the center like so. Then up here, we're going to section this off in parts of three, so it's going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to bring it up like this, so and then it's even three, we're going to bring it up again like that. Then on the very final level, we are again just going to split it up through the center. Watch over that a couple of times, it could be a bit complicated, but it should split apart like you see here. Now as we come through, we want to round off the top of these little patches that we made, sectioning it off. So to round off the top, I like to just use dark oak stairs, and then we're going to put in more windows with our dark oak fences. They're just going to be three high, cut out into our white wall material. Then moving up a floor, we can just put in more of these, three high, these ones will touch the floor. Then in the center, just do it two high, this will come in play in the future. Then from here, again, we can keep rounding these off. Then we can move up a floor, and we're just going to round it off on this floor. We're not actually going to put in any windows, we'll come back to that. Then on this floor, again, just more windows, we'll come back to it. Then on the top floor, we can round it off, then put in some square 2x2 two two windows, again, just using our dark oak fences. So from here, we can start embellishing this roof. So we're going to start on the base floor of the very front, and we're going to tear out the three slabs in the center on that base, just right through the center. Then moving to the two sides, we're going to move it up half a block. Then we're going to come out, and this is right even with the little roof piece above it, and then move those pieces half a block. Then connect them and move them half a block so they come together like that. Then we can just push this back so that it appears even with the wall behind it. Then moving here, we're going to take out these two, and we're going to have to take out these three logs right there, and we're going to have to take out that piece. So from here, what we're going to do is take two upside down stairs and place them like that, like so. And then we will have to actually take out this piece and then take a dark oak plank and put it right there so that it connects. And then this will give us a nice little piece. And then all we have to do to finish that off is fill in this remaining place with our white concrete. So with that little jutted up piece finished, we can now come up to the floor above it. And now on the floor above it, we're going to take our dark prismarine stairs. And so if we count one block away and then one block up, so it's going to be this one that we're going to tear out. If you look at this in reference, it's even with this pillar. And I'm going to put a stair in right here, just like that. You can see how it looks. And then I'm going to put a second stair right there just to mark this. Then coming from the center, I'm going to come one block over and break this block. Then I'm going to put a stair right here, 
then a second stair right here. And so now we have a little place marked out here. I'm going to take a slab and put it under here. Then I'm just going to bring these two together as so, just like this. Then at the center, I'm going to take my slabs again, connect them, bring them half a block up. Then this looks a bit uneven, so I can fill it in just like that. Now we're going to take our mini A-frame and extend it back into the wall, just the top. So in the actual A-frame we did top and bottom stairs, but extending it back into the wall we're just going to take the top stairs. Then moving on to the inside we're just going to put in a small little layer of white concrete or white wall material right there one block in so that, that kind of extends from the main wall. Then we're just going to put in a couple windows. You can just kind of put these in. Make sure that they are one block from the wall, and you can put them two blocks high as I am. Then just on the other side, we're going to repeat the same process. Look back if you need to, but just repeat what you just did on the other side onto this side with another little mini A-frame extending back into the wall. Onto the next level, we're going to come onto this roof, and this time we're going to put in another little triangle A-frame, but this time it's going to be on the outermost piece of roof, and it's going to start two blocks from the curl. So if the curl starts here, we're going to go one, two, and then put our first stair, and then we can just start curling this upwards. And for this build, I really tried to make these little embellishes a lot easier than on past builds that I've done and a past Japanese castle that I've done. Normally I like to curve them upward in a less linear fashion, but that does make it more complicated. This time I'm just doing straight ones. You can curve this up if you're a more advanced builder and you know how, but for the purposes of this, it looks just fine if you bring it up straight like I'm doing here. So if you look, we're bringing it up so that it connects up in the center piece. Then just like the last one, we will connect it from there. And we can see how that comes together. And then from here, on this next level, we're going to tear out these three. And this is very similar to what we did on the base. So those three center ones, we're going to build up half a slab, then bring it up right here and build that up a slab out and up and then out and up. And then we are just going to connect this back like we've done the last one. And then all we have to do right here is get rid of that one piece, get rid of this. And then if we can sneak in there, we're going to put in one piece of spruce just right in there. I'm going to come through here. It is a bit tricky to get in there. Now as we extend our dark prismarine A-frame back into the wall, just like we did on those smaller ones on the floor below, remember again that you only need to use the top stairs, you don't need to put in any bottom stairs, because whatever roofing material you're using, you're probably just going to want to conserve it as much as possible, trying to use it more sparingly, and just by using only what's shown, that's really going to help you out. Now coming onto the inside, I'm going to take some dark oak planks and kind of frame this inside. Then I'm going to take some upside down dark oak stairs and put them kind of through here. Just that there's another smaller A-frame inside here. Watch over that a couple times if needed. It's not actually too complicated once you get it in there. And then one layer past that inside, I'm going to put in a layer of just our white wall material, white concrete for me, and then I can punch in a window into that if I like as we come through here, again, just using our dark oak fence. Then as we come up from there, we can add in a couple more windows into the little pieces to the left and right of our A-frame that we just built in right here. And then moving right above that, we're actually going to want to curl up this piece right above it. This is pretty simple to do. I'm just going to put a slab, then a stair on top of that, then another upside down stair. Now we're going to move to the back. The back is exactly the same as the front. <laughs> no differences whatsoever. I'm just going to time lapse it. Look back, you can either copy what you just built from what you've already built, or just redo my instructions, rewind back to where the front started, and just completely rebuild the front onto the back thus far. 
So now we may begin work on our side design. So we're going to start this just like we did on the front and go to the base floor and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, block. And then build these up. But do not worry because this will get more interesting. On the second floor, it changes. On the second floor, this time we're just going to go 1, 2, 3, then put a block. 1, 2, 3, then put a block. 1, 2, 3 then put a block, and that splits it into even parts, all three wide. Then we are just going to completely skip the next floor, this doesn't need anything. Then on this floor, it is again going to one, go one, two, three, block, and then one, two, three, block, and then one, two, three, and then build it up from here. And then, just like this, we will put nothing on the top and leave that for later. And it should look like that. Now we're going to come in and start rounding off and adding in windows into the little slots that we framed off. So the bottom is going to be the same as the last time, just putting in our upside down stairs and the windows with the dark oak here. We are going to come up and we are going to now frame off this second floor up. This one actually looks pretty interesting just because there's so many four windows here, nothing too complicated. Then we're going to completely skip. The next floor and moving up a floor from there we're going to frame this next one off and from here we can add in more windows this is actually the same as the second floor except there's only three little slots then we're going to skip the top floor so we're going to start embellishments on the side just like we did on the front so i'll go through this a bit quicker because it's the same design i'm just showing you it again here as we build it we're going to push this across and again, this is exactly the same as we did on the front. But the one thing that I will say is we're going to put this in three separate times and I'll time lapse it as we put it in the extra times coming into the future. But let us quickly finish this here. I'm going to actually put a plank there and then that'll come together just like so. We can then just build the same thing that we just built two more times to the left and right, nothing different. Look back to the first person if you need to. This is the same thing, just to the left and right, dead center on each one of our little window framed slots. Moving up onto the next floor, we're going to come in on this outer layer, but on the second one and count one from the curl, one, and then break this one in line with the pillar. We're going to put a stair right there. Then we can just put another stair on top we can put a slab underneath, and then we can switch back to stairs moving up here. And this will be another A-frame coming up, and this will be bigger than any of the other ones just because we're putting it all the way to the edge and this floor is wider. We're gonna quit it there just for a second to start on the next level. Again, breaking it right there, putting another piece right here, slab underneath, and then we can just build it up so that it will hopefully connect and we will have to break through the next level as we move upwards because you will notice that it comes slightly above here. So what we're going to do is break all of these as we put our A-frame coming up to connect at the top up here and it'll come like this. And you will notice that looks just a bit weird right here. What I'm going to do is just break this and replace it the full block a bit wonky but it will work out still and then right here we're just going to put a full block right there and then we're actually going to take a stair on top put it there and then another stair upside down then all we have left to do is connect this all the way back here and take our stair right here break that push these in as stairs so that they connect back with the wall like so Pushing back the A-frame to the wall here should feel the same as the last few A-frames that we have built because nothing is different here. It's a bit bigger, but nothing has actually changed. We're just going to push this back into the wall. And then from there, we're going to repeat a similar process to the last A-frame we built, where we come in here and add in our dark oak wood. And so this is going to come in, we're going to put in our planks, then our upside down stairs, filling out the A-frame one block in from here. Then from there, as we complete this, we can add in a layer of white wall, one more block inset, so we'll have a layer of white concrete from there, and then we can just punch in a few windows into that. 
you made it this far, great job and congratulations because we are nearly done. We're going to put in our last A-frame. So again, we're going to come in not outside, but in the second one, count one, then even with the pillar, put in our stair. This is essentially the same A-frame as we just put in. The only difference is that it is slightly smaller, but that's just because this floor is less wide in nature. Whoops, accidentally took out that one, but it is going to go right here. Another one on top, and then we are just going to put this in coming across up here until it meets, which should be just barely right next to the roof right above it. We don't want it poking through the roof above it because that roof is already finished in the way that it is. So if we bring it, it should connect right here, and then all we have to do is take our last little pieces and we're just going to connect it like that. Pretty simple and pretty easy. At this point, we're absolute pros making our A-frames, pushing these back into the wall. We have done it so many times, this is the same thing. And when you build Japanese castles like this, usually you are going to repeat a lot of these A-frames on the roofing. This is just generally a good skill to pick up how to build these when you do want to put them in and building all styles of builds, actually. Again, we're just repeating our dark oak here and then a nice little layer of white concrete behind it. And we can squish in a tiny window there if we really want to. We can then add in a couple windows just to the left and right of it, and we're going to round off our slot right here, adding in some stairs to the top, and we will have to come back down to the slot below it, two roofs down, to add in two more upside down stairs just to round these off. From here, just like we did for the front and back, we are going to repeat the same side design on the other side. Nothing has really changed here, we're copying the exact same thing, just build it up. I'm going to time lapse this, you can watch over the instructions again, or you can just copy what you've already built onto the other side, and it is kind of fun to watch a quicker build time lapse like this, especially when we've already done the other side. Our second last step for this build is going to come along the base all around the base of this building, we're going to come along and find each one of these pillars. We're going to remove one, two, three like that of these stairs at the base of the pillars and then replace them with full blocks. So they come on with three full blocks like that. Then we're going to take some stone stairs like so and put them around on each side, but without the corners. Then on these corner pillars, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to remove one, two, three, place them with full blocks, then one, two, three full blocks, and then again, we'll have more this time, but we're going to do the same thing. We're just completely surrounding this pillar with our stairs. And it is important to add in a bit of detailing to this little framing that we're doing for the bottom of our build, and so just like the base below, we're going to add in some more stone brick blocks and a few stone brick block stairs as we round it off. And it is interesting how small little details like this can really bring a build together. I love how this looks along the base of our build. It really just does help out in general, no matter what angle you're looking at it from. So now we can finally start on our very last step. So we're going to come to the front. Remember, this is what the front is going to look like. This is where we're going to put the entrance. We're going to find the dead center, and we're just going to count out three in the dead center. Then we're going to tear out these sides, just on the base level, right here, again, three apart. And then we're going to take our spruce logs and count them up five blocks. So they come one above like that. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to count out two blocks, then repeat that again right here, and again two blocks right there. Then we can fill in the inside of these framed walls with our white concrete, just building this up. This is super skinny, but that's kind of the point because this is just a hallway inside to get into our build itself as we bring this up. And then we can start on the roof, and the roof here is actually not too bad. We're just going to put a slab on top like that then build that slab out one. I'm just going to show you that line of it. This is gonna come out two slabs like that, then a slab, slab, and it makes this kind of S shape. Then we're going to take a stair right there on top. Then we're going to take slab, slab, that's a full block, then one more slab on top, like that. So that's a block and a half. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Again, just coming up, 
and then our stair. Now from right here, we're going to actually curl this part up a bit. So we're going to build this out two blocks right there, and then we're going to put an upside down stair here. So that's just for a second, we'll put our upside down stair, then break that and put that back in place. And this should look like that. Taking our A-frame skills, we can push this roofing back into the wall behind it. Nothing too complicated here, just finishing it out with the same pattern that we started it with. And now, as we push this back in with our roofing material, we can start thinking about the entrance. And so, I did kind of an unorthodox entrance here. I did a pretty simple topping to it, just with some dark oak. But then, under that dark oak, I did two dark oak fences and a fence gate. Then I took these little stairs and put them right under the fences. Kind of a weird look, but I liked how it turned out. Then I just did a dark oak doorway coming inside. Then along the sides, you can just add in some more fence gates, just as a little touch for the trim. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing to the Classy Kiwi Show. Each and every single new subscriber really does make a difference, and I'm very thankful for all of you. I would like to announce that I'm going to start streaming soon. This will be a great opportunity to come say hello to me, my parrot, and more. I'll have a face cam and it'll be a great time. Look out for announcements on that. Also, I'm soon going to be releasing some more content aside from just Minecraft videos. I'm very excited to share some new stuff with you guys. I'm sorry this video has been a long while since the last video. I've had finals and been very busy, but we will be back on a weekly upload schedule now. So without further ado, Thank you again for watching, and as always, stay classy, my friends. See ya!